all right guys this is my how i organize my doll stuff video let's just start off with this because it's right here so this is a wardrobe closet from target and it's the our generation brand one so in here i have some flower crowns up here from various people mostly on etsy and or i made them like this one with the shells on it i made and then in this one we have aria's mermaid tail and then these bags and then the stool for the vanity i don't think there's anything else in there yeah just keep that in there and then down here is like a bunch of random stuff like most of it's just tights and then Mia's leg warmers and a pair of mittens and then here's some of my doll clothes hanging up I have winter stuff in here right now since it is winter where I am if you're, not, if you're in Australia it's summer <laughs> I wish it was summer so I have some hangers that I cannot fit anything else up here so they're down there and I have some more random stuff over here pretty much mostly cardigans and I have my long winter-ish pants in there even though there's some skirts and then in these boxes are my doll Christmas outfits and dresses so I have them in two separate boxes because they wouldn't all fit in one my jewelry box with you can see in the mirror there's some necklaces and then this jar is bracelets and then this one has bows hair bows and hair clips and such and then in this box I have hats headbands and belts even though it's probably more headbands and belts now because I've moved my hats somewhere else and then this is Mary Ellen's crinoline which I have to put in my closet with the other skirts and stuff that I have um my dolls mostly stay in the house most of the time and Samantha's over there because I don't know what to do with her yet. So this is the top of my dollhouse. Let me get on my bed so you can see. I almost fell, okay. <laughs> That's scary. See more of it. So there's the our generation car. My clothing, you can see the top of the house is starting to sag. I have to get something to put in the main room so it doesn't collapse on me because I'd be really bad and then let me go over here try not to step on my laptop okay you can see the gymnastics bar right there and then the campus snack cart and the some boxes and then the bike is right behind those I'll show you how I organize this this is from Amazon I'll link it below if I remember this white thing as well as the fabric things if you can see on them, they're labeled. So this one has pajamas, leotards, and swimsuits in it. And then I have a tops one bin and a tops two because they wouldn't fit in one. And this one's bottoms one and bottoms two. I'll just show you the inside of one. So this has skirts and I think that's it. And maybe some different long pants or maybe it is just skirts. Okay. Oh wait, there is a pair of shorts in here. Here they are. That's why I just called it bottoms, because they're bottoms. Um, and then here's the hats and scarves one that I talked about. So I had my hats in this box, but that box got too full, so I put some of those in here. As you can see, they're like mostly on the bottom. And then I have scarves on the top that were made by people on Etsy or given to me at a giveaway or not a giveaway a, be a meet up I'm cool I don't even know what I'm talking about um I'll show you what's behind here so it's a bag but it's Kanani's shave ice stand that I keep under a bag because my room gets really dusty and I didn't want it to get dust all over it 
This is a box filled with my dresses. It's Grace's Bistro box. So if you have an idea of how big this box is, it's really heavy too. So here's Caroline next to it. And then if I lay her on it, it's just a little bit longer than she is. And I'll show you all of the dresses I have inside. It's insane, I know. Just a separate box for all of my doll dresses because there's a lot. I have them separated by mostly various shops. So like there's all my Buzz and Bee ones. And then there's some American Girl ones at the bottom. And there's some more over here. So it's just a giant box filled with dresses which is crazy and then if you can see back here some random um easter baskets from when i did my easter stop motion and then the mckenna's beam and bar and there's the bike that was molly's numerous years ago and then the campus snack cart this box i'm gonna try to wean away from doll boxes so i might get like tupperware bins to put everything in instead of doll boxes and stuff so here's most of well not most probably some because my dolls are wearing probably the other half but this box is like over overfilled with boots until winter came and i put some of them on my dolls but yeah there's just boots and slippers in here like the label says over here is also numerous things i have this watercolor palette. I will do a how to do freckles on your doll eventually. And then this box has Halloween stuff in it. I did label them. Mr. Magic Erasers for when I clean my dolls. Which I have a video on. This is, what is this? Christmas? Yep, Christmas stuff. Should really label that. And then in this box I have my shoes, which, let me tell ya, not a good place to store your shoes. Okay, and then and this one's my Christmas tree, if you can see it without the glare. And ornaments and stuff. I don't like my shoes in that doll box because it's really annoying. If I don't link that in my description, let me know in the comments and I will do it because I don't want to forget. But it's a really nice way how to organize your clothes. Elite Doll World on Instagram had this. So you can kind of see it over here. And she also uses the wardrobe closet, same one I do. And then she also had this, but put it vertically instead of horizontally like I have it. But that's the only way it fit up there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this organization video and I hope it gave you like inspiration to organize your doll clothes differently so please comment rate and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video bye